Lady Oriole begins with a light sketch of the bird. A partial masking technique is used to mask the key elements, such as the outline, the white areas of the wing, details such as the eye, and areas requiring clear color. This strategy offers a more unified result since the background ink will become part of the subject. After the masking fluid is completely dry, the background is created by dropping a variety of forest colored inks onto the paper and then using the techniques for spontaneity like ink flow and air blown effects to yield an inky foresty background. Once the ink layer is completely dry, the masking fluid is removed by running a finger across the masked areas to pull off the dried masking fluid. After masking, the subject will need to be cleaned up a little bit. The brush and alcohol are used to blend in the masked areas, and you'll want to be sure to leave any areas that are actually supposed to be white untouched. In addition to using the brush and alcohol to remove errant ink, you can also use the cotton swab, which you can put a little bit more pressure on. For the Oriole's breast, we'll want an intense orange color. For this, we'll use the drop and guide method. Here, the brush is heavily loaded with ink, which is then dropped onto the paper and allowed to expand, yielding an intense, inky, brush stroke free passage. The majority of the features of the bird are painted in with the brush. Ink is dispensed into the weld palette and then carefully brushed onto the bird. Tighter details are created with the fine tip pens and the alcohol ink markers. Here, the black pen is used for the beak and eye, the white pen for the dot of the eye, and the alcohol ink markers on the tail. Another way of applying detailed ink is by using the dry brush method. Here, the ink is allowed to dry in the weld palette. This thickened ink can be used with a brush to add tiny lines for details. Returning to lifting, to make the subject more visible in the complex background, some of the ink is lifted out of the background around the subject. This is done following the patterns of the ink flow. Additionally, some details are painted in by lifting ink out with the brush. Here is our completed painting of Lady Oriole, featuring the lifting, brushwork, and masking techniques, as well as the spontaneous ink flow and air blown effects.